voltage-dependent calcium channels are a group of voltage-gated ion channels found in the membrane of excitable cells with a permeability to the calcium ion CAR2+. These channels are slightly permeable to sodium ions, so they are also called CAR2 plus minus NAR plus channels, but their permeability to calcium is about 1,000-fold greater than to sodium under normal physiological conditions. At physiologic or resting membrane potential, VDCCs are normally closed. They are activated at depolarized membrane potentials and this is the source of the voltage-dependent epithet. The concentration of calcium is normally several thousand times higher outside of the cell than inside. Activation of particular VDCCs allows CAR2 plus to rush into the cell, which, depending on the cell type, results in activation of calcium-sensitive potassium channels, muscular contraction, excitation of neurons, upregulation of gene expression, or release of hormones or neurotransmitters. VDCCs have been immunolocalized in the zona glomerulosa of normal and hyperplastic human adrenal, as well as in aldosterone-producing adenomas, and in the latter T-type VDCCs correlated with plasma aldosterone levels of patients. Excessive activation of VDCCs is a major component of excitotoxicity, as severely elevated levels of intracellular calcium activates enzymes which, at high enough levels, can degrade essential cellular structures. Structure Voltage-dependent calcium channels are formed as a complex of several different subunits, I plus or minus 1, I plus or minus 2 I, I squared 1-4, and I cubed. The I plus or minus 1 subunit forms the ion conducting pore while the associated subunits have several functions including modulation of gating. Channel subunits There are several different kinds of high-voltage gated calcium channels. They are structurally homologous among varying types. They are all similar, but not structurally identical. In the laboratory, it is possible to tell them apart by studying their physiological roles and or inhibition by specific toxins. High-voltage gated calcium channels include the neural N-type channel blocked by ipermale canotoxingvia, the R-type channel involved in poorly defined processes in the brain the closely related PQ-type channel blocked by ipermal agatoxins, and the dihydroperidine-sensitive L-type channels responsible for excitation contraction coupling of skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle and for hormone secretion in endocrine cells. Equals I plus or minus 1 subunit equals, the I plus or minus 1 subunit pore is the primary subunit necessary for channel functioning in the HVGCC, and consists of the characteristic four homologous EA Euro 4 domains containing six transmembrane I plus or minus helices each. The I plus or minus one subunit forms the CAR2 plus selective pore, which contains voltage sensing machinery and the drug toxin binding sites. A total of 10 I plus or minus one subunits that have been identified in humans, I plus or minus one subunit contains four homologous domains each containing six transmembrane helices. This arrangement is analogous to a homotetrama formed by single domain subunits of voltage-gated potassium channels. The four-domain architecture is also shared by the voltage-gated sodium channels, which are thought to be evolutionary related to VDCCs. The transmembrane helices from the four domains line up to form the channel proper. S5 and S6 helices are thought to line the inner pore surface, while S1 and Euro 4 helices have roles in gating and voltage sensing. VDCCs are subject to rapid inactivation, which is thought to consist of two components, voltage-dependent and calcium-dependent. These are distinguished by using either BAR2 plus or CAR2 plus as the charge carrier in the external recording solution. The CDI component is attributed to the binding of the CAR2 plus minus binding signaling protein CAR module into at least one site on the channel, as CAR2 plus minus null CAM mutants abolish CDI and L type channels. Not all channels exhibit the same regulatory properties, and the specific details of these mechanisms is still largely unknown. Equals I plus or minus 2I subunit equals, the I plus or minus 2I gene forms two subunits. I plus or minus 2 and I. They are linked to each other via a disulfide bond and have a combined molecular weight of 170 kDa. 
The I plus or minus 2 is the extracellular glucosylated subunit that interacts the most with the I plus or minus 1 subunit. The I subunit has a single transmembrane region with a short intracellular portion, which serves to anchor the protein in the plasma membrane. There are four I plus or minus 2 I genes, CACNA2D1, CACNA2D2, CACNA2D3, CACNA2D4. Coexpression of the I plus or minus 2 I enhances the level of expression of the I plus or minus 1 subunit and causes an increase in current amplitude, faster activation and inactivation kinetics and a hyperpolarizing shift in the voltage dependence of inactivation. Some of these effects are observed in the absence of the beta subunit, whereas, in other cases, the coexpression of beta is required. The I plus or minus 2 I minus 1 and I plus or minus 2 I minus 2 subunits are the binding site for at least two anticonvulsant drugs, gabapentin and pregabalin, that also find use in treating chronic neuropathic pain. The I plus or minus 2 I subunit is also a binding site of a central depressant and anxiolytic drug phenobut, in addition to actions at other targets. Equals I squared subunit equals the intracellular I squared subunit is an intracellular MAGUK like protein containing a guanylate kinase domain and an SH3 domain. The guanylate kinase domain of the I squared subunit binds to the I plus or minus 1 subunit I2 cytoplasmic loop and regulates HVGCC activity. There are four known isoforms of the I squared subunit CACNB1, CACNB2, CACNB3. CACNB4. It is hypothesized that the cytosolic I squared subunit has a major role in stabilizing the final I plus or minus 1 subunit conformation and delivering it to the cell membrane by its ability to mask an endoplasmic reticulum retention signal in the I plus or minus 1 subunit. The endoplasmic retention break is contained in the E Euro 2 loop in the I plus or minus 1 subunit that becomes masked when the I squared subunit binds. Therefore the I squared subunit functions initially to regulate the current density by controlling the amount of I plus or minus 1 subunit expressed at the cell membrane. In addition to this trafficking role, the I squared subunit has the added important functions of regulating the activation and inactivation kinetics, and hyperpolarizing the voltage dependence for activation of the I plus or minus 1 subunit pore, so that more current passes for smaller depolarizations. The I squared subunit has effects on the kinetics of the cardiac I plus or minus 1C and Xenopus live isocytes co-expressed with I squared subunits. The I squared subunit acts as an important modulator of channel electrophysiological properties. Until very recently, the interaction between a highly conserved 18 amino acid region on the I plus or minus 1 subunit intracellular linker between domains I and 2 and a region on the GK domain of the I squared subunit was thought to be solely responsible for the regulatory effects by the I squared subunit. Recently, it has been discovered that the SH3 domain of the I squared subunit also gives added regulatory effects on channel function opening the possibility of the I squared subunit having multiple regulatory interactions with the I plus or minus 1 subunit pore. Furthermore, the AID sequence does not appear to contain an endoplasmic reticulum retention signal, and this may be located in other regions of the EA Euro 2 I plus or minus 1 subunit linker. Equals I cubed subunit equals the I cubed 1 subunit is known to be associated with skeletal muscle VGCC complexes, but the evidence is inconclusive regarding other subtypes of calcium channel. The I cubed 1 subunit glycoprotein is composed of four transmembrane spanning helices. The I cubed 1 subunit does not affect trafficking, and, for the most part, is not required to regulate the channel complex. However, I cubed 2, I cubed 3, I cubed 4, and I cubed 8 are also associated with AMPA glutamate receptors. There are eight genes for gamma subunits, I cubed 1, I cubed 2, I cubed 3, I cubed 4, CACNG5, CACNG6, CACNG7, and CACNG8. Equals muscle physiology equals, when a smooth muscle cell is depolarized, it causes opening of the voltage-gated calcium channels. 
Depolarization may be brought about by stretching of the cell, agonist binding its G protein coupled receptor, or autonomic nervous system stimulation. Opening of the L type calcium channel causes influx of extracellular CAR2, which then binds CAR modulin. The activated CAR modulin molecule activates myosin light chain kinase, which phosphorylates the myosin in thick filaments. Phosphorylated myosin is able to form cross bridges with actin thin filaments, and the smooth muscle fiber contracts via the sliding filament mechanism. L type calcium channels are also enriched in the T tubules of striated muscle cells, that is, skeletal and cardiac myofibers. When these cells are depolarized, the L type calcium channels open as in smooth muscle. In skeletal muscle, the actual opening of the channel, which is mechanically gated to a calcium release channel in the sarcoplasmic reticulum, causes opening of the OIR. In cardiac muscle, opening of the L type calcium channel permits influx of calcium into the cell. The calcium binds to the calcium release channels in the SR, opening them. This phenomenon is called calcium induced calcium release, or CICR. However, the OIRs are open either through mechanical gating or CICR. CAR2 is released from the SR and is able to bind to troponin C on the actin filaments. The muscles then contract through the sliding filament mechanism, causing shortening of sarcomeres and muscle contraction. See also glutamate receptors, inositol triphosphate receptor, ion channels, NMDA receptors, rianodine receptor, voltage gated ion channels. Gabapentin, Pregabalon. References. External links. Andrea Welling, Voltage Dependent Calcium Channels, Biotrend Reviews No. 4, January 2009, 2009 Biotrend Chemicals AG, Voltage Gated Ion Channels. IUPHAR Database of Receptors and Ion Channels. International Union of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology. Calcium Channels at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings